Hi everybody. So today what we're going to be getting ready to do is taking a road trip to a couple states down and picking up one of our one of our devoted Danes puppies. Um, we had the family contact us earlier this week and they had a situation and they needed us to take them back. So that's what we're going to do. Um, anybody that's gotten our puppies, uh, when you get them, I always tell you, we don't have these lengthy contracts, but if, if you ever get in a situation where you can't keep this dog, don't want this dog, if it has medical conditions, it um, has a behavioral problem, we will always take our Danes back. So um, that's what we're doing today. So, so we're heading home now. We have um, the boy that we came to get. Hercules is his name. If you guys remember that name, you might, you might not. He's from Eva's first litter, him and Hurley. So I'm not gonna get into details on why we came to get him because it really doesn't matter. The matter of the fact is, is he needed to come back to us and we drove about seven hours total to go get him. We're on our way home. Uh, there's always a lot of traffic. So he's in the back seat. He's very nervous, he's panting. Um, he doesn't know us, so I mean, I don't blame him. He's letting me pet him, so. And yep, he did take to my husband too. So, uh, you know, we're gonna just take our time and take it slow with him and try to make his transition with us as easy as could be for him, so. Here he is. And yes, he's one of Eva's Brindle Merrill's. Hercules, he knows his name. Hi, baby boy. Hi, sweetheart. Yes, I know. It's all strange to him, but he's very good in the car so far. He's just been panting, and we're we're around a lot of traffic. But, um, so we're gonna keep him and see how it goes, and um, you know, and just uh, try to let him get to know us. I mean, sometimes I feel like that's a harder transaction for them to get to know us and then have to rehome them again. But that is our ultimate goal with him also is to find a good home um, that fits his needs. So it's the next morning and we're out here with Hercules. He's still having, you know, he's very scared and everything. He, we have to really coax him to come out of the kennel, so I don't think we're going to kennel him anymore because that seems to be not a good thing for him. So, hi, sweet boy. You're going to let me pat you now, okay? In the kennel, I was not allowed to pat or touch him. So, we're making progress, but we are not going to put him back in the kennel. Nope. It's just, he, I don't know. I don't think he had a good kennel experience. At least, that's what it seems like to us. So, we're not going to do it to him. He's just going to have the room. And he hasn't been introduced to any of our dogs because he's still not comfortable with us. Ha, <laughs> sweetheart. I know. And he really loved his male owner. You could see he was, he, you know, he's run up to him and he was great with the kids. Hi, buddy. So, yeah, we're back inside. Uh, he can see Ellie and Eva, but that's it. Eva is his mama. But we, we're not interacting anybody with him. No, I wouldn't. Well, he's, he still doesn't really trust us, so. And we've learned the kennel isn't his favor, his thing, so we're not going to, kennel's not going to happen anymore, just because it's, he feels like, I don't know if he's cornered or what, but he's a whole different dog in that kennel, so we're not doing it. Yeah, it's a good boy. Looks just like his mom, but he's got a bigger head. I almost think he's got Hurley's head. Mm. Yes. You got your food waiting for you. I'll fill your, I'll actually uh, do Frank's water. Big thing in there, because I don't want him back in that kennel. Mm -hmm. mm. And we'll see how he does. Turn the bowl on the <clears> side. Yeah. His Frank's feeder's in there anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Frank's gonna let you use his room. Oh, he's sitting on you. It just, it really is tough to see them 
for one, <clears throat> leave their family. I mean, the owner, his father, was just as upset, I think, as Hercules was. But, um, hi, sweetheart. And then to come here, he doesn't know. He's only known that family his whole life, and he's almost three. So he's on the defense here. And, but we're going to work with him. We've had some other um, ones come back, but they've always been super friendly and social. Um, our best friends after being here. Hercules is a little different. He's more reserved, and he gets nervous. And, uh, you know, we're trying to win his trust right now. He definitely likes males better than females. Yes, don't you? But that's okay, Hercules. I won't take it personal. I won't. Oh. I mean, like he was giving kisses last night and then this morning trying to go in to get him out of the kennel. It was just a whole different story. He was shaking and terrified. We're not looking to scar him any further. <laughs> so I guess he will be with us for a little bit until we can, you know, maybe... That's just your own door making noise. Yeah, it's okay. It's Plus, I mean, he's coming into a home with nine other dogs, so it's a little bit of, uh, you know, intimidating. intimidating for him. I get it. Yeah. But, I mean, I know who his parents are. <clears throat> this is Magnolia's full brother. Same litter, everything. And we all know Maggie is nothing but a love bug. But Maggie's also standoffish sometimes with new people. Like when we go to the vet, she sits right by me. She doesn't mind them touching her, but she's really not. Her mom and dad's there, so she's okay. Hercules were not his, his you know, first owners that he's ever known. I mean, we did have him for eight weeks. Hercules was the puppy that had our only case of puppy strangles. Um... I think it's because um, he's from Eva's first litter, and she did jump on his leg and break his back leg. We had brought him to a specialist and everything for his leg. And then I think it compromised his immune system, and he ended up with puppy strangles. So um, we had quite the ordeal with him when he was a puppy. That's why we weren't willing to give up on him. We wouldn't any of our Danes. I mean, this is tough on me and my husband. <clears throat> because we're not used to having a Dane that's not a love bug and friendly to us. And um, we just had Cooper last month that had to be rehomed, and Cooper was a complete uh, love bug. Um, he, but, again, we didn't kennel Cooper either, so I don't know if that's the situation. But um, we're learning. We're learning what his quirks are and what he likes and doesn't like. And we're trying to make it as easy as possible on him. But oh, this is from Eva's first litter. And Eva's getting ready to have her last litter now. So, uh, And it's funny because he looks just like Eva. He's almost like a cut and paste image. I mean, I haven't seen him since he's a puppy. But he has a bigger head than her. But ultimately looks just like his mom. So after we love on him a little bit, we're going to let him go in his room and eat. Um, not in his kennel. I'm going to put uh, the raised dish out there that Frank had for him so he can get used to that will be his room. And uh, yeah, we'll, well, we have a lot. Uh, we have a way to shut the door, oh, shut the door so he feels safe in there. Um, that's what we want. We don't want our other dogs going in there and starting anything we don't want a dog fight because he doesn't know them so they are not his friends right now but uh oh he's after a fly so i mean this is what we saw last night after we walked um worked with him for a little bit we got home late last night because it is a long drive for us and um you know we put him in the kennel so we could get all our other gangs situated we did have somebody here letting them out while we were gone um so once we spent time with our crew, we wanted to go in and have spend time with him one-on-one, -on -one, but um, he was in the kennel, and it was a whole, totally different story, so we really had to try to coax him out, and it was it's rough on us. It's hard on me to see him so terrified, but we're hoping to things only get better. I mean, just two minutes ago, he didn't want us touching him in this kennel. He so we are on day two 
Uh, with Hercules. Come on. He's still standoffish with me. Oh, did I drop something out of my boots? I think mud. Um, he's finally warming up to me. And uh, he is very good with my husband because he does favor guys. We've realized that from the get-go. Um, with me, it's been a lot slower. Um, but I do give him his space. Um, I really have no history. Oh, is that your mummy? No history on him. So I'm not... Oh, hi. I'm not really sure. You know, like I just had a roll of paper towels. And he went to grab... That's your mummy. She... Okay. He's starting to feel more comfortable, but like I said, I don't really know the history of with him, so I'm a bit leery, you know, like anybody would be. It's okay, buddy. Yes, what was that? A little dirt on there. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're fine. Yes, we're still fine. So it's been really slow going with me and him. He does, you know, he's. He doesn't as trusting with me as he is my husband. He's already been on my husband's lap and licks his face. I haven't gotten any of that, and I'm fine with that. I'd rather take it slow than push him and, you know, him not um, be comfortable. I want him to be comfortable with me. So he is wagging his tail. Like, I was just getting paper towels, and he went to grab it, and I was a little bit, like, startled but he wanted to play he thought it was a toy so i realized that afterwards i'm like i'm sorry so he's sitting on my lap so i didn't realize you know i'm just on i guess high alert bless you sweetheart you smell the garlic yes i had the garlic so i was on you know i'm on high alert um he did come to us because he um uh I wasn't there, so I really don't know exactly what happened. All I know is what I was told. Um, so that's why I'm I'm, ner I'm reserved and very leery because he did bite his um, his female owner. Um, he's almost three. He's never showed any sign of aggression. Um, she wasn't sure if. You know, she has a couple small children in the house. Hi, sweetheart. And um, he was in his kennel, and I guess one of the children were in there. The, ba the baby was under two, and she went to take him out because Hercules was in there eating, and when she did, he bit her hand. So we're not sure if he thought something like the baby was in danger and he was protecting it. I would want to say that was more the scenario. He just... You know, I don't know what was going on, if it was chaotic or, I mean, everybody's had kids and we all know what it's like um, with kids, you know, you could be yelling their name and, you know, uh, hi, sweetheart, that's for me petting you. Yeah. Um, you know, and he might have got startled and thought the baby was in jeopardy or he thought he was, you know, protecting his the child. He did not bite the child. He actually bit the female owner. Um, so when I was there, I did see Hercules definitely favors uh, the fem uh, the male. Yeah, he loves him. I mean, you can tell. And I'm, from watching them interact, it was, you know, the male owner loved Hercules just as much. You could tell. Um, so that's the reason why we ended up with Hercules. Hi, sweetheart. Um, yeah. Is that he did have... He did bite his owner and drew, and, you know, broke through the skin. She needed a couple stitches. Um, we just want to be totally honest. Um, we have had other, we just had um, one other return last month in September, Cooper. And Cooper was super friendly, came right up to me instantly. A charmer, you could touch his face, you could do anything, and he was super great. Or Hercules is a kind of a different story. He takes a little warming up to. Um, we've had him a couple days and he's still leery of me, I can tell. So I don't push him. Like my husband, he's instantly loves him. Like he's on his lap. It's a total different um, dog. And my husband actually trusts him where I'm more leery because I know what happened. But I honestly think that Hercules thought he was protecting the child even though we know, you know, 
mothers will say come on you know or even you know you yell your kid's name and whatnot and and obviously you know the the child wasn't in danger but um for some reason hercules uh thought he needed to protect him i'm i'm almost thinking that sounds like the best scenario because hercules will be three and he's never shown aggression they said he's never been food aggressive he's never he has two um, small children at his home and he's never showed anything so um they didn't feel comfortable keeping him and i kind of understand you know i get it they have small children mom's a stay-home mom you know so she's home all day with him and they did have other dogs too um, so, you know, you multiple dogs, a couple kids, it can be, you know, a little overwhelming. And I mean, my house is chaos on a normal day. I can't imagine throwing three kids into the, a uh, couple kids into the mix. So when I did see him in his family, with his family, he was super happy running around. He's really, uh, a goof troop um, with my husband he was outside rolling on the ground he was letting my husband rub his belly so I think he would be a perfect dog for a man uh, definitely a family with a man in it um, he's good with kids but um, you know I would think that he might be better with adults only only because I think it might be calmer and easier for him to adjust into his new family so I will be looking for a home for him um because i just from having him a couple days and going slow i think he's going to be fine i mean the first day um when we used the kennel he didn't like it and he let us know he growled and then after that we stopped using the kennel and you saw him i will open the door he comes out he greets me he i let him come up to me he lets me pat him and he's He's really, you know, he's he is making a change. He's making an effort. So, I mean, I definitely think because you make one mistake, you shouldn't be put down. And that was the alternative. Me take him or they were going to put him down. Now, I'm not doing that. I, you know, I risk my own self because I wanted to be sure that he was going to be safe with somebody. And me and my husband both feel like he he's definitely a good dog and he just needs the right um, new owner to, you know, work with him and just be there. You know, I'm thinking, you know, a couple or a single man only because they would have more time, I think, to devote to him. I, he does love kids. When we left, the little boy was like right in his face kissing him. He does love children, but I just think that might be a little bit overwhelming, and I think it would be easier for him to adjust into a family with, you know, something a little bit quieter. It's just me and my husband here. We don't have any little kids. When he does come up to me, you know, I'm not afraid of him, even though I'm, you know, I'm on guard because I know what he did, but, um, he did live with this family for almost three years. So, um, and this was the one, one thing that happened. So, um, that's the update. Um, that's what we've been going through. This is why our video did not come out. Sunday was a drive to get him. And then we just been monitoring him. And I really wanted to just keep an eye on him a little bit before I, you know, before I, said anything and saw what I what I think and I don't think he's aggressive I think he was scared I think he got in a situation where he made the wrong choice for sure but I also understand um, a young family with small children and you know not wanting to to deal with that also but um that's why we took him that was the alternative is to have him put down at three years old I don't think that's a good alternative I think he deserves a second chance, and I think there's a good family out there waiting for him. So if you're interested in Cooper, give me, um, you know, message us on Facebook. Please, just serious inquiries, not people that just want to find out information. I'm pretty much laying out all the information on here, so there's no questions. I'm being totally transparent on everything that was said to me. Um, he came from a good family. Um, it just didn't something happened. I don't know what, I wasn't there, but moving forward, I'm looking for a home for him. So, um, and other updates that we do have if, um, 
in the midst of all the chaos. I did make it back to Lexi Lou's house. I didn't video it because I was kind of in a rush, but Lexi is pregnant. So all you fans out there then wait, waiting for Lexi's, um, here's your time. So um, she does have a list going. We do have openings because we have two confirmed pregnancies. Eva's due um, around Halloween. And then Miss uh, Lexi had a, a longer breeding cycle, but we're thinking mid-November. So we will know more once, you know, it gets closer. So Eva, I do have an appointment just to follow up with Eva. She goes this Friday for x-rays. Um, we decided to do x-rays. We're going there anyway, just for her a little like physical uh, pre uh, C-section. Um, so she has her appointment for this Friday. And mostly, most generally what they do is they'll do an x-ray. Sometimes they'll do a progesterone testing just to see where her number's at. Sometimes we do it, sometimes I don't. If I feel like there's no sign of labor, um, her number's gonna be way off anyway. So I normally can tell, but um, she will be getting her uh, pre-care, checking her out, getting the x-ray, and um, we'll know more after Friday on Eva. So we kinda had a little bit of a woozy week, but all in all i think things are going turning to the positive side um you know we will have puppies here in a couple weeks we are looking for a home for mr hercules if anybody wants a nice addition and has time to work with him um and lexi is pregnant so i think that sums up the uh the updates and this video is obviously going to be late but i just wanted um to get kind of get a word out there get a feel and see what we can do for Hercules. I think Devoted Danes is a great community and there is a lot of people out there that have patience and can work with him and give him a good home and believe in second chances. Cause I believe in a second chance. He'll stay with me until we find him the right home because that's what, uh, that's what we do here. We don't, you know, it's tough situation cause normally, um, it goes pretty smooth you know we don't have a problem but you know he's a special situation and i think there's a special family for him so keeping my fingers crossed that all goes well it's been pretty smooth it's only on day we've got him sunday um he's really well behaved this was the first time i've heard him bark <sighs> the whole drive here he kind of just was like who are these people and what am i doing with them but he's been well behaved if anything he's just scared so and I mean, he's coming into a house where there's nine other dogs barking. That's gotta be intimidating in himself. So, um, yeah. So thanks for watching and you can leave comments below or you can message us on our Facebook page. Or we keep up with those pretty regularly. You guys have a nice day and a good week. Our week's already started.